walking down the street and someone said something to you and that thing made you so angry that you ended up punching that person. Why did you do that? Hi, welcome to Life Mastery. If you're new here, I am Sharika Swaby. So let's explore anger for a moment. Now, we've been told that people make us angry, but in truth and in fact, whenever someone says something to you or does something and that thing causes you to feel anger, it's not the person who's making you angry. It is actually, the person is actually triggering the anger that already exists within you. Now, this is why some people will always be fighting because they are angry. Inside, they are angry. And whenever something comes up, uh, that thing, that word or that thing may remind them of the experience that made them angry in the first place. And this is a subconscious reaction. This is not something that is present right in front of you. If you don't know, you just don't know. But whenever people say things and it makes you angry, it's, tri it's actually triggering the, the anger within you. They're actually not the ones making you angry. You get angry because you're already angry. Now, another thing is you will constantly attract experiences to show that anger because life is actually happening for you and not to you. And every experience that you have is there to show you where you need to improve. So in the case of you having anger within you, you will always attract experiences to highlight that anger so that you can address it. And as I said, that's why some people get into fights all the time because they are not, they're angry already inside and the least thing that is said to them triggers that anger. But what you'll find is that if you don't address the anger, you will never be out of these kinds of experiences because the process of your journey is your enlightenment and your experiences are designed exactly and perfectly for you to see where you need to make changes in order for that enlightenment process to occur. So if you're always reacting to whatever triggers you with anger and not realizing that the anger is actually within you and no one else is making you angry, if you're always responding with fighting back, then you're never addressing the issue. So the issue is you're angry. Not someone else is making you angry, but you are angry. And until you address that, address that anger, you will always get a situation to show you that you're still angry. This is facts, you can look it up. All the research is there, all the science is there. Until you address the anger, you always get an experience that highlights that anger. Without fail, that's what life is. So people who are struggling with different things, and this, uh, this, this is the case for everything in your life. Your journey is one of enfoldment and, as I said, enlightenment. And until you address these issues, you'll never grow. So your life that is designed for you and is there for you will always provide you with an experience to show you that this is a problem and you need to address it. So you'll always get an experience to show you what you have within you. This applies to every, uh, every experience. So if you're having, say, confidence issues, you get an experience every time that's gonna show you that you have confidence issues. It's the same with every area of your life. So I hope that this video shows you where you need or make you think about the areas that you need to address in order for your progress to happen. As I said, it goes across all spheres of your life. Everything in your life, you're going to get an experience to show you that you need to level up, whether it's in education, in thinking, or within your emotional being. But 
your experiences will always be ones that will show you where you need to make progress. So I hope you found this video really helpful. Until next time, this has been Life Mastery and again, I am Sharika Swebe. Thank you for watching.